it's given a sealed jar initially contains 0.1 kilogram of substance a and 0.9 kilogram of substance b substance b changes to substance a at a rate proportional to the product of amounts a and b present in the jar, jar. after 100 seconds there is 0.2 kilogram of a 0.8 kilogram of b find the amount of a after t seconds so what's given is the rate of increase of a is proportional to the product of a and b so we can write like that okay a b we could have also written this differential equation the rate of increase of a is equal to rate of decrease of b so it could be like that as well but we don't want to do that because we want to find a we have to find a afterwards so we will write in terms of a now b is also a variable here so we will forget this one b is also a variable here and we need to substitute b by a we need to write b in terms of a we can do that because we can see that the sum of the the mass the total mass is a a plus b is one kilogram in both cases total mass is one kilogram so we can write b as one minus a once we do that we have just a there so we will separate the variables so this one there and this is kdt this one can be written as like that 1 minus a i will write da da and this is kdt so once we integrate now we can integrate this becomes ln a minus ln 1 minus a is equal to kt plus c1 let's say so this is becoming ln a over 1 minus a so this is kt plus c1 and if we get rid of the ln it becomes e to the power kt plus c1 this one can be written as uh, we can invert this one so before that i will rewrite this one as c1 e to the power kt so e this is actually e to the power kt times e to the power c1 e to the instead of e to the power c1 we have written uh, let's see we have to use another constant let's write this c so c is equals to e to the power c1 basically so now we can invert this one so it becomes this and this is 1 over c e to the power kt and this one can be written like that so 1 over c e to the power kt or 1 over a if we take the 1 on the right hand side it becomes c e to the power kt 1 plus c e to the power kt so a becomes c e to the power kt 1 plus c e to the power kt so if i so here i have just inverted this one to get this one in so an expression of a but if I divide bo uh, the both numerator and denominator of this uh, fraction by c e to the power kt, it becomes a here and it becomes 1, uh, one plus 1 over c e to the power minus kt. So this becomes 1, this becomes 1 and this one when divided by c e to the power kt, it becomes 1 over c to the power kt so this constant we can again replace by something else let's say c2 e to the power minus kt so 1 over uh, c2 is 1 over c doesn't matter we can use any any uh, alphabet so that's there now we need to find what is c2 what is minus what is k so there there are two conditions given the initial condition when t is equal to 0 a is equal to 0 0.1 we can use that first 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 here 1 plus c2 c2 point 0.1 plus 1 is equal to uh, sorry plus point 0.1 is equal to 1 here so point 0.1 c2 is equal to point 0.9 so c2 is equal to 9 so we know now what is the value of c2 so this one becomes 1 plus 9 e to the power minus kt now we need to find what is the value of k so another condition is given when t is equal to 100 
is uh, a is equal to point 0.2 so this is point 0.2 is equal to 1 plus 9 e to the power minus 100 t uh, sorry k we don't know 100 k so this one becomes point 0.2 plus 1.8 e to the power minus 100 k equals to 1 so 1.8 e to the power minus 100 k equals to 0.8 or e to the power minus 100 k equals to 0.8 over 1.8 or minus 100 k equals to ln 0.8 over 1.8 so this is k equals to minus 1 over 100 times minus 0.81 we can write k as 0.81 over 100 so if we go to our original equation it becomes 1 plus 9 e to the power minus 0.81 over 100 times t or this one we can write like 1 plus 9 to the power 9 times e to the power minus 0.81 sorry e to the power plus 0.81 and t over 100 minus like that so e to the power plus 0.81 times minus t over 100 so that becomes a is equal to 1 over 1 plus 9 times 2.25 to the power minus t over 100 so that's the expression we could have kept it in terms of uh, like this as well but I've just written like that so instead of writing in terms of e to the power something we have just taken the fraction so e to the power 0.81 is equal to 2.25 so that times t minus t over 100 so it just looks like you know with the coefficient is minus 100 and the base is 2.25 so that's the expression of a after t seconds